what if I told you that there's a newer version of the classic MACD indicator that is proving to be almost three times more profitable? In this video, we will dive into this new indicator called the PP Signal Impulse MACD and explore how it works. I'll also show you how to trade breakouts and pullbacks with it. So stay tuned. Hi traders. Before we get into the details, let's quickly recap the mechanics of the classic MACD. It helps us identify potential trends. By analyzing the crossover between two lines, the blue line, MACD line, and the orange line, signal line. When the blue line crosses above the orange line, it indicates a potential uptrend and a good buying opportunity. Conversely, when the blue line crosses below the orange line, it suggests a potential downtrend and a good selling opportunity. Now, imagine a version of the MACD that not only helps us identify trends, but also eliminates those false signals during market changes. That's where the PP Signal Impulse MACD comes into play. Similar to the old MACD, the Impulse MACD is a momentum indicator, but it has a unique feature. Instead of displaying multiple false signals during market changes, it filters out the small signals and goes completely flat. This feature significantly reduces the likelihood of false signals, safeguarding your profits and minimizing losses. However, even this version of a MACD used alone can still generate some false signals. And for this reason, we're gonna be combining it with a couple of other indicators. Let's apply this indicator to our chart and explore a complete strategy around it. First, open TradingView platform and search for PP Signal Impulse MACD version by PP Signal 01. As you can see, there are two MACD lines displayed as a histogram, one white short period, and one that changes color, long period. If you prefer, you can change it to moving averages. Otherwise, keep using it as a histogram. Author of this indicator suggests that we buy when both long and short period IMACDs are above the zero line and sell when below it. When the lines go flat, it signals a sideways market and it's best to avoid taking positions. Let's remove this yellow line as we not go in to use it for our strategy. To eliminate even more false signals, we're gonna be combining it with a MTF MACD for C indicator created by WaveTrader. Let's add it to the chart. This indicator will help us identify the main trend direction. I recommend setting the time frame for this indicator at around 4 to 5 times higher than the time frame you are trading on. For this particular strategy, we will set it to 1 hour and trade on a 10 minute time frame. Let's also remove the signal line. We will only look to buy it when it's green and sell when it's red. As you can see, it prevents us from entering and getting stopped out in this example. To have a complete trading strategy, we will only enter trades on a confirmed break of a structure. To assist with this, let's add the swing high low support and resistance indicator by PatternSmart. Let's remove all unnecessary lines to keep our chart cleaner, as we're only be interested in the most recent structure break. Now that we have all our indicators set up, Let's delve into the rules of our breakout strategy. We will also discuss the concept of a pullback afterward. A breakout occurs when the price makes a sudden and significant move in one direction. By utilizing the PP Signal Impulse MACD's ability to identify range-bound markets, we can predict breakouts before they happen. To implement this strategy, wait for the Impulse MACD to go flat, indicating a range-bound market. Consider the length of the flatness as well. The longer the market stays in a range, the higher the chances of a breakout. To anticipate and predict the direction of the breakout, you can observe signs of increasing momentum indicated by the bars in the middle of the indicator. If the bars rise in an upward direction, it indicates a bullish breakout. And if they decline, it suggests a bearish breakout. However, it's important to note that we will be using the MTF MACD for C indicator to determine the overall trend direction. Therefore, we will only take trades aligned with the trend of the higher time frame to avoid falling victim to false breakouts. Lastly, we will only enter a trade when the price breaks the structure. We'll set our stop loss just above or below recent high or low, depending on the direction of the trade and target three times risk. Here's the long example. We only enter after all conditions are met.
And as you can see, the price reaches our target. And here's an example of a short trade, where the price reaches our target too, with proper risk management. Breakout strategies can yield high profits with minimal risk. Remember to adjust your stop loss and profit target. Based on the characteristics of each breakout, by incorporating methods used in this strategy into your trading, you can take advantage of the PP signal and pulse MACD indicator and enhance your trading performance. As promised, let's now review a pullback strategy rules. To enter a long position, we look for the price pullback and the white MACD histogram to cross below the zero line, while the long-term histogram is still above the zero and the MTF MACD is green. We enter when the white histogram bar crosses above the zero line. Play stop loss below the recent low and target to times risk. To enter a short position, we look for the price pullback and the white MACD histogram to cross above the zero line, while the long-term histogram is still below the zero and the MTF MACD is red. Enter when the white histogram bar crosses below the zero line and target to times risk. You will inevitably experience losing trades, but hey, there's no such thing as a 100% winning strategy. However, like any other strategy on this channel, I firmly believe that this one can increase your chances of winning trades significantly, compared to strategies that solely rely on a regular MACD indicator. Ultimately, proper risk management is the key to success. So always ensure that you have a long-term plan in place when trading. That wraps up today's video, as always. Please like and share if you found it helpful, your support means a lot to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.